guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is danielle hello yeah. hello and we're doing a day two days in my life in new york city last night we had our gals on the go new york city show it was nuts 1500 people people came from mexico from california and it meant the world to us debriefing the show with my parents mm -hmm. and family and friends sorry my phone's going off my mom went back home to florida this morning and my dad's staying an extra day and we're gonna fly back to florida tomorrow together and i'm gonna spend the holidays in florida so one last new york city vlog for you guys until the new year but my dad and i kind of want to have a little bit of a day he came in yesterday for the show yesterday morning and he hasn't been able to like go out to the city because you know we had my show and everything so um, we're gonna go to do some indoor activities today because it's supposed to rain. So we're gonna go to the Oculus, which is an indoor shopping mall in the financial district. It's so cool. It's like all white. It, it has a really cool outside like architecture. It's crazy. Um, you should look it up on Google, but, um, we're gonna do that. It has really nice stores. There's an eatily in there. Maybe we'll eat there. Who knows where the day will take us. And then also Brookfield Place is over there. I also like Hudson Yards, which is similar. He's never been to either, and selfishly, I went to Hudson Yards the other day with my mom. So I'm like, let's do the Oculus. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup because my spray tan is on, but my face, the spray tan on the face always leaves first because you're like putting makeup on, washing your face and stuff. So I just wanted to feel a little put together, but I'm excited. It'll be a cozy Sunday night. I'm also doing like a Sunday reset. So I've got laundry going, I've got the dishes going, and then I'm leaving tomorrow for two weeks. So I need to pack and kind of do all the things. I'm bringing all of my been waiting for different doormen to show up and then I will be giving them their holiday cards. So yeah, that's kind of the vibe. But yeah, one last New York City vlog until the new year. Okay, let's get dressed for the day. I just pulled my hair back in a little half up, half down. This is literally my hair from last night, but I just washed it yesterday. I don't want to wash it yet. I'm gonna throw over top this jacket. It's like in the 50s today. It's not too cold. And then I have my tried and true jeans, and I'm just wearing like a simple white tank underneath. We need some earrings. I'm thinking these just simple gold hoops will do the trick. Just chill Sunday vibes, you know? I just put lip plumper on, and I don't really know why I decided to put lip, lip plumper on a Sunday. It was just feeling spicy, and my lips literally feel spicy right now. Like, woo! Kind of wakes you up a little. Okay, the most important part is the bag. 
So I'm in between one of these bags. They're both from Songmont. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely beautiful. This is the Songmont Drippy Roof Bag. I love this bag because you can hold it like this on your arm or you can make it a crossbody or wear it on your shoulder. There's just so many options. I love this color. You guys know how obsessed I am with just wearing a ton of neutrals all together. I think it's so chic. I love the monochromatic moment. It's such nice quality. It has this insane magnet right here. And then the biggest compartment in here with some pockets, which I absolutely love. And my vlog camera, which is pretty big, will fit in here. Or I have the Songmont Mont Tote, which is also absolutely beautiful. I love the design on the bag. You can adjust the straps to make them longer or shorter as you please. I really like this bag too because it zips, which I feel like sometimes tote bags like this don't zip and it's such a miss. Like you need that zipper, especially if you live in a city or you're a gal on the go and you have stuff just spurring out of your bag. I think it's so nice. And it also has a little mini compartment here. So I'm trying to decide which bag is my vibe today. It's a hard decision, honestly. So like I said, this just has so much room for so many things. And there's the ears on either side of the bag that can hold things like your lipstick or small things. Or if you want to put cash right there on either side, it's so nice and just such a hidden little perfect compartment. I also like that the zipper is hidden after the magnet. So it just has extra security. Also, if you don't like the long strap, you can detach it. The hardware is fade resistant. It's gold plated hardware and it's made with milled fine calfskin leather. It's very soft and like supple, but also still structured, which I like. I just love this bag. Or if you took off the strap, you could carry it like a clutch if you wanted, which I think is so chic. And then this bag, like I said, is a part of their Mont collection. This is actually made of sustainable material that is a mix of French dew redded linen and TPU, which is very lightweight and highly durable, which I love. What TPU does is it offers you this amazing resistant against oils and greases and solvent stuff like that so thank you so much to songmont for sponsoring this video i'm so thankful it's so cool to work with such an amazing cool company like this so i need to decide which one is my vibe i'm kind of leaning toward this one today okay i think i've decided on this one i just think it goes the best with my outfit and i can put my camera in here i don't know i just i'm, I'm leaning towards this one so let's pack my bag okay even though it's gonna rain I always like to have my sunglasses. It's a great accessory to any outfit. Maybe I'll take a pic. Wallet. My favorite perfume of the moment. Lipstick. Hand sanitizer. Essential oil. And lip balm, of course. And then this is big enough that I can fit my mini umbrella in here, so we love that. <laughs> kind of digging the crossbody. Then I'm hands-free, baby. Hi, girls. This is my dad's bedroom while he stays here. He's got his closet. You put your clothes on up, I just noticed. He's drinking, are you drinking more coffee? No, tea. Tea. This is, he prefers my couch over an air mattress, which is easy for me, honestly. Um, oh, my tree looks so cozy. I just realized I need to pick out my shoes. Again, I wanna be comfortable. I need like a pair of tan or neutral sneakers. I don't need, I want. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with these white sneakers to tie in the white shirt. You guys know I love an outfit sandwich. Okay, here is the final look of the day. We're gonna head to the Oculus. I'm happy with this look. It's so, it's so chic, chill. Let's go. We made it to Fide Eye, and Dad's not, you've never really been around here, so well, not in a long time. Ryan we we did visit Ryan, I guess, but other than that, anyways, guys, you can't even see the top of the Freedom Tower right now. It's so cloudy. That's how tall it is. I believe it's the tallest building in the U.S. Uh, I don't know. That's what Ryan told me. I feel like he would know. And then this is the Oculus. Yeah, Chicago, I think, is the second or third. Yeah. Sears Tower, right, I think? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is taller than Empire State Building. Guys, there's an ice skating rink. This was not here last year, I don't think. This is so cute. I love how decorated it is. And then all the stores are lined up. Just copying Tampa. Just copying Tampa. I'm kidding. 
My dad I should said I should do pink for gals in the go, and I definitely agree. Because apparently dogs can see color better than like a black or white. Like it's more attractive to them. So I'll do this. This is like the nicest, biggest. We'll have to find out. This is the nicest, biggest I heard New York store I've ever been to ever. Like anything you could possibly need New York related is in the Oculus. Oh, happy new year stuff. Wow, 2024, coming up soon. That's crazy. I feel like I also should get this for our tree in Tampa. I don't think we have a New York ornament yet. Oh. Wine opener. That's, that's a good stocking stuffer. I don't have one that says Fred. No Fred, is there? No. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> He's trying to see if the tree is real. It looks fake. It doesn't look it, real. It's not the right color. I'm getting splinters. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we just got back and I had flowers. And they're from my friend Sophia Tolan. Tolan Makeup, she said, to my favorite gal, I'm so bummed I couldn't be at your live show, but I'm so proud of you. You're amazing and love seeing you always on the go. Love, Tolan. So nice. You are on the go. I am on the go. This is such a pretty bouquet. I love the neutral vibes. Mmm, the rose smells good. We're back now. Of course, we've got some football on because it's Sunday. some of the cards you guys brought to the meet and greets or some of the you guys people gave cards to like Delaney or Ryan to give to me which is so sweet this one is so cute she drew a ton of things and on the front that you know Georgia with this fireball taxi I'm assuming I think that's Finley like how cute and like it's so long this girl has watched my videos ever since what's in my backpack 2016 that's crazy Oh, I remember watching your UGA videos from your freshman year having sleepovers with your hallmates to your junior senior year living with Delaney and cooking hello fresh meals together. <laughs> so sweet. And someone else brought us little phone charms, fireballs. So sweet. Okay, we're in my closet and I literally have a list on my phone of things I need to pack for Tampa because normally when I go home Recently at least I just I end up wearing the same t-shirt I bring so much stuff and I end up just wearing like workout clothes a t-shirt and maybe one cute outfit But this time we're going home for the holidays. So we have Christmas Eve party with my family Christmas Day usually PJs and then like maybe something later that night um, Like at home like it's kind of like Thanksgiving, you know eventually just put on a dress just because you're at home <laughs> But also, my friends and I have like three different plans, which I'm so excited about. Like, where all the th all three of those plans involve us dressing up. So I'm thrilled because I feel like, like I want to go to a holiday party. <laughs> so I don't know for what, but we have a couple things while I'm home. Like I said, like this could be a cute Christmas Eve dress. I'm not really sure, but I had I showed this dress in a reel on my Instagram when I was styling like holiday party outfit ideas and I just like need to wear it, not just in my reel. So I'm gonna bring this. I also have been dying to style. These are those uh, lacy pants everyone's been wearing. It looks so good, belted with a blazer. So I wanna recreate that look. Maybe that would be a cute Christmas Eve look. So I need to pick which blazer I'm going to bring. Probably this blazer. 
I just got this really cute little skirt that would look really cute with tights and a sweater maybe. This also has New Year's Eve potential, but usually I like to wear something like, oh yeah, and I'm, I think I'm gonna be home for New Year's Eve or I might fly back to New York, I haven't decided. Um, but it's this dress, it has cutouts, but then these roses, it's a long black midi dress, long sleeve, very my style. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, so, but I think I'm gonna bring it because I could wear it to one of the other things I have. Oh, this is actually probably what I'll wear on Christmas day it's just comfortable it's this huge black dress with like really pretty big sleeves i feel like this is a nice christmas dress with like a bow in my hair you know but see the thing about me is i'm gonna change my mind so i need options like i have this top that's i probably should bring it because i don't know when i'm gonna wear this after the holidays because it's kind of green sparkly and it has a little bit of a shoulder padding in it which i always find to be very flattering so this actually would be cute with that black skirt tights and some tall boots my suitcase is gonna be very heavy. I'm gonna bring this dress too. It's just a long midi like sweater dress, sweater knit dress that I think is really flattering and cute. It'd be good for Christmas shopping or just more of like a casual thing, but you still look put together. Oh, I feel like I have to bring this skirt. This could be another New Year's Eve option. This, and it has a matching like bra top. I guess I can just bring it, and if anything, I could wear a blazer over it, but I feel like I would just end up wearing the skirt, but I might as well bring the whole set so I have it, or if a friend wants to borrow, just bringing my whole closet to Tampa. Ugh, this dress is also so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm bringing so much. This dress is just such a classic. Everyone loves when I wear it. I also need to like decide how many pairs of shoes I'm bringing. Ah! Because I'm bringing a second luggage with all gifts in it. Like, all stuff that I bought for people that I'm bringing home. I feel like I need to bring this for some reason. It's just calling to me. Okay, I should probably stop there with the dresses. And then we might go, like, out one night. So I feel like I need more of, like, a going out top. This top is really pretty. Just kind of drapes. I'll bring it. Oh, I also love this top. It's coming. It just has to. <laughs> it's just a pile of black clothing over there right now. It's actually kind of chilly in Florida right now. It's in the 50s, which is pretty exciting, honestly. It kind of helps make everything more festive. I need cute, like, casual outfits, too. I always overpack, but it's hard not to because there's so many different ways the week could go. I think I'll bring this, too. I love this red color. It's so pretty, and um, it's festive. And this is a good 50, 60 degree weather top. Oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous about this pile over there. Just got more flowers from Katie, Colby, and Adam, and they came to the show last night, but that is seriously so sweet. I love how it's a little baby bouquet. How cute. It's even cuter now that I took it out of the um, little paper. I love. Also, huge development in my uh, kitchen. My dad hung up this. It's the Alexa frame. Or it's the Echo Show 15, but it's a frame version. And it came with, you guys saw it already in my Vlogmas. Um, but I bought this brown frame to put on top of it. So it goes with my apartment way better. And I'm obsessed. I really love how it, you know, saves space here on my counter now. And I can just go over here and look. And has a remote and everything. I've got jazz music going a little bit lightly there. It's just so cool. I think it'll be really nice too when I'm cooking if I want to put the recipe up right there because this is usually where I prepare things. I love it. We just went for a pizza run. Mm. I got cheese, he got pep. I love it, we can just get a couple slices. We don't have to get a whole pie. When my dad comes to New York, he's like, I won't be mad if we have to have pizza for dinner. So, okay. He grew up in New York, so I feel like you crave that New York pizza. And uh, yeah, we're watching. I'm kind of like packing in and out and taking breaks to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. He's so stuck on the fact that I just paid $14 for toilet paper. And I now I'm realizing I could get it on Costco for way more. I, I was just telling him, I don't have storage to get like the you the value put pack. Back here, stack but he's li he literally. I was like, why? Is he goes over there and looks behind my mirror. I was like, what are you doing? He goes, you could put toilet paper behind it. 
<laughs> You're stuck on the toilet paper thing. Well, I know, I know. It, it, it's crazy. It's highway robbery. Um, but we're watching the movie The Family Stone with Sarah Jessica Parker. It's a Christmas movie where he like brings his girlfriend home. And the family seems to not like her so far. Ooh, the pizza's hot. And he's going for it. Cheers. giveaway winners my dad and I just had a chill morning we were worried our flight was gonna get canceled because there's a ton of storms but it's not storming here and it's not storming in Florida so maybe it was just uh, more intense of a prediction than they thought which I'm happy about so I have two suitcases all packed and we're gonna head to the airport and I'm gonna go home but I hope you guys enjoyed these couple days or really like day and a morning here in New York City um, expect some vlogs while I'm at home for the holidays and I just hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a happy holiday and uh, maybe there'll be another vlog before Christmas I'm not really sure we shall see I love you guys talk soon bye mm -hmm.